the economic advisor to the president. But given that I sit next to Dr. Suhail Chuganti today, I'm also very proud to pronounce that I'm actually an advisory board member of Namibia's leading telemedicine company. And I can't wait to hear all about uh, Dr. Chugal, um, Chuganti and, of course, his book. So it's a real pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you for the very uh, nice introduction, and I'm honored to, to, to share the table with President uh, yourself. Um, I'm Suhail Chukta, I'm also a surgeon, and I'm also Microsoft Certified Specialist for Telemedicine. I've been in this industry for 20 years and advise governments, over seven governments I've been working with, on telehealth services. And today I'll have a chance to present something on that matter. Thank you. I've dropped down the bandwidth for about 356 kilobytes per second up, which is under 3G signal. That means that when you use a mobile phone, your imagery can go up to the receiver side and reassemble there in 0.5 second. So the latency between this point and that point on 365 kilobyte is less than half a second. Basically, an ordinary mobile phone with a 3G uh, can work. So, so that part means the mobile phone processor will help recapture the data in 0.5 seconds, where there's only 3G signal nevertheless. Did I answer the question? I'm sorry, I went technical. I love going technical. <laughs> <laughs> may, may, may I just sort of support you here? In fact, Africa is the you know, one I'm sure that would uh, significantly benefit from the expertise of Dr. Shantai at the so you are, you are on the right path. Um, so I hope with our, our health colleagues, um, they'll probably look into it and see what, what is possible. But so Digitalization. Digitalization. Yeah. That's the key. That's the key. One word. Yeah. So thank you very much for, for that. And